I'm back with another episode of Guardians of the Galaxy. I had so much fun in the last episode that I really wanted to play. I thought this game was going to be like the Marvel Avengers game from last year, but it is not. So I'm really excited and I just want to continue, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's do this. I just want to know one thing and I just want to know what the whole objective is of this whole damn game. I just know that the first objective was to get a creature and to deliver it to someone. Uh, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. It is Novacore. Love that scene. So that was from the last episode. Yeah. And right now, I don't know what's going to happen. So last episode, someone shoot at me, shot at me, and I guess it's Nova Corps, like Drax said. Nova Corps is like the police, I guess, the space police. That's a patrol ship. Designation, Hallis Hope. Chapter two, busted. Uh, oh say, shit. Hope? I'm busted. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, this uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. Is he gonna flee? We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. Look at him. No one's going to jail. So it's a cute. Harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, uh, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corell. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? <laughs> I just caught you pink-handed. Leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please <laughs> tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Uh, hide the tech. Hide rocket's crate. Peter! You're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corell the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corell. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out oh, of this, Oh, they slept guys. together. <laughs> you just gotta oh, trust me. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What, what the fuck no. was that? Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome. Okay, I don't know what that was. It's a shame. Some names. Contributing members. Groot, 
A Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket. Bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora. Adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer hey, he's and laughing. galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it. That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. I just need to... Cadet Gold. What are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about... I don't know what that was. I really hate this. Is it because of the display? Maybe graphics? Nah. Is it going to change anything? Forget it. Signing stuff? If I may, sir? The real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear? That one's jet boots are in clear violation. Th they're decorative! Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No! You do not got this, pirate! I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, nothing I can Jacket. do. Get that gold. It looks like you even if I played it a second time, I'll it's the sir. same First thing. thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal fall in line. In illegal space. Space. Yeah. I'm gonna challenge There's him. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. Here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very. Very close friends with the captain. Uh, hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. <gasps> a single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Guess that classified the mom, mom thing. Just to be no. super clear you on the mom thing. Ah! Hold on! Quill! Oh, he's a superhero. Quill! No, 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 no! Is she dead? Okay, she's not, she's not hey, dead. Kid, are you there? Nova girl! <coughs> Yeah, 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 I think so. Let me just see if I can... Hold on! Okay. Did that gold, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> Okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Oh, see? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, my this is shit. Yeah. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Doing great. Okay. Boom. That was kind of amazing, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Thanks. 
Yeah, mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. They're gonna say that this the is his daughter. Hundred percent. Here. They had a thing like Help two, three years. Oh no, it's only four years ago. So that can be. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. She does know go, that I'm still go. a prisoner, right? Okay. We need to keep moving. Oh, Lord. This way. Cadet Nikki. Whoa. I knew there was Just something wrong about that church ship. He goes fishing for God in a junkyard. Oh, man. This is bad. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Remove handcuffs, activate jet boots. Come on, come um, on. activate you know, the jet boots. I could boots. probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate footgear. Come on. If I can fly up No. To You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to find another way. No you shit. Sure there isn't a way through here. I'm in charge here. A Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh, nope. Dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? I can still pick up stuff. There's another blast door down here. Nice. We established your special key thing doesn't work. It'll work. So what actually happened? Is it? Is it the spaceship of that Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I think I it's the, the spaceship of the freeze that uh, right exploded, now. but I don't know. Okay. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Come on, girl. Got it. Nice. Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord, or Peter, or you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay, Peter. So listen, I have some good news. And some bad news about your friends. Uh, bad news. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. Wow. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. Can I, can I go down? No, it doesn't look like it. Where do you think you're going? Just making I'm sure this place coming. is safe and secure from the... Come on. We'll be safe through here. I was definitely not Watch. going to escape. Oh, is that a secret? That does look like it. This has like the symbol of something that will explode. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block yeah, this fire sure. so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Easy does it. See? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? No. You literally just said I was doing great. <laughs> you are doing great. Top five best oh. arresting officers I've ever had. Is that a skin? Oh. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly Nova Lord what I'm doing. Found. Nice. I'm gonna use it uh, in the next episode, maybe. I don't know. It looks interesting. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I was definitely not sneaking away. What is that? Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um. I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. Nice. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Oh yeah, I can see it right now. Any the blue thing. Now. Right, right. Interesting. Just taking it all in. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm definitely not gonna go away. Just wanna see if okay. there's like anything. Wow. 
that's just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Sorry. Regulation I have 200 of them. That's actually Prisoners pretty good. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? I'm still in charge here, you know. Of yeah, course yeah, yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Pretty sure all kids get annoyed with their moms, but as you get older, you realize they're right more often than not. Ugh, whatever. I want to know how old she is and why she got them cadet. Is it just because her mom Quick wants her to be next to her? Only I don't one know. of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. No shit. Do you also have makeup? Nope, doesn't look like it. This way. Yes. Oh, what is this? Yeah, could you please try to keep up? Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought Danger. you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust oh, you. Oh, look at him. Clearly. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Joe Casto. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Get back here, pirate. Wow, yes. wow, okay. Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Okay, so that's her little hideout. I love it. I actually love it. A lot of lights. She's doing like some sort of graffiti. What is this? Is that me? Oh, is it, that's Peter Quill? Is this your mom? Or Iron Man? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. Oh, it's just no. her. Okay. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. It's actually hey, pretty nice. This is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Okay, what do you do with this? Nothing. Oh, it's an artifact. New garden collectible found. You find a broken translation device. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. So she actually likes her mom. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed re- Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. <laughs> we should probably get back before mom- Never go inside of a girl's face. room. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. 
Everything else like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Good. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and <clears throat> recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I love her badass suit. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For the record, I didn't mean overreact, like, in a bad way. I mean, like, celebrating. What a moral person of conviction you are. That is not what you said! I don't care what he said. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke. I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? <laughs> she was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. No one leaves <laughs> until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? Like, she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. <laughs> you empty your pockets. No, I don't want to do it. Nikki? What? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to do it. Something. Divert attention. I still have feelings for you. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Not like I love it. feelings, feelings, but more like emotions. I love this. You know, because of the explosions Nikki's not sure if she and can trust and everything you. we went oh, through back in the seriously? war. Feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. That was definitely not the good thing to do. Ah, oh, that didn't work. You stole a passkey? I didn't steal it. I made it. Points for ingenuity. Disengage lockdown. Lockdown disengaged. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles.
So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Okay, Nick is 12 and we met 12 years. I knew it! On second thought, only fair. I thought it w he said four. But, okay. On your second thought, only fair to ask Chewie what he wants. Uh, no, due to my... I, I wanna know. Well, your old daughter. Who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship... Part of me was excited, at first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed at all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, OK, that is <laughs> a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever? <laughs> you won't regret it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I will regret it. So what is a cycle? Is that one day? So I, I have like three days? Interesting. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. Well, maybe it's not a week. Not five. Three. Maybe it's a week. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we... Don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. That's it. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. Buster. Busted, busted, busted. Not a problem. What the hell is that? I, I think your shirt is not good. What's that supposed to mean? It is Buster common freedom. knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. New conversation available First with broken source. I aim at order, nor a rodent. rodent. I uh, where stash is hidden Groot's aboard this ship. Fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia. Peter Can I Quill, craft some stuff? Tell in the here? rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. 
How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. <laughs> I'm gonna bother someone else. What do you want, Quill? If you're World looking for area, units, check your own room. Uh, Open this door. Where is it? I know you are in there. So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever. Drax, let it go. Nobody's stashing units. We shall see. Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Check in first. You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather, I'd turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Alright, and now can I craft some stuff? I've got a lot of materials. Uh, if you want to okay, make yes, it up to me, God. find a way to pay this flark and fine. Not a problemo. Alright, we have the element gun. Fire and rate doubled when held drop. Problem is, uh, will I really be having like health below 25%? I don't think so. Uh, quickly pressing fire weapon twice, charges a shot, release to deliver a shit that inflicts both stagger and physical damage. I need stagger damage if the ability of Drax is not available. So I'll get this. And, and I think I, I cannot like craft anything else. Oh, increase no. Yeah, there's nothing else. Not a problem. I've made it foolproof, just for you. Charge shot. The charge shot is an additional move you can use to deal staggered damage directly with your weapon. Double press and hold left a button to start your charge shot. Release left to shoot. A charge shot that takes both stagger and physical damage. Double press and hold. To start your shot, shot, release to shoot. Okay. So double press, hold. All right, no problem. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, mom lord. Okay, so right now, what's the objective? Uh, I need to talk with the others, I guess. Oh, those are the Why stuff I look so found. Sinister. I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Three scientists, super soldiers. How many super soldiers were there on Half World? How many of you Health, super soldiers Half were there World. on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. 
And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know... What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, the rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Sorry, you had to go through all that rocket. For real. I love this little conversation. But that was like the first artifact I found. I do remember it. But where's the second one? Uh, okay, we have like interactions again. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah. Guys! Let's just... hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case... You're not selling His my idea stuff. is to die. We are family. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only <laughs> problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys oh monsters. Oh my god, I love and you this. You are not a monster. 
He's not. He's the sweetest. Sell the trinkets most... to the legendary monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. <laughs> oh yeah. You want monster? I'll show you monster. Whoa, guys. Groot, are you really offering to? No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh, I don't know. I think Groot is a more convincing monster. Vote to sell Rocket. Rocket is definitely scarier on the inside. Uh, you know, Groot is my, my, my guy. So I gotta vote to, to sell Rocket. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. Cool. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. All right then. Uh, we are on a planet. It's a shame we don't have like some sort of map and all that kind of stuff. Spinal control unit can be now discussed in the ro rocket's room. All right. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually end this episode right here and continue uh, on with the last episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment. It will be gladly appreciated. And I hope I can see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.